Welcome to a mini movement number five. This is based around elephant. So we start off with loosen up the shoulders a bit. Interlace your fingers, palms flat, curl your fingers so your fingers are linking. Keep your hand in front of your breastbone and just bring your arms up and down. Elbows up and down. Swap over, hands the other way. This is elephant because the hand hold is called Ganesh Mudra, who is one of the Hindu gods. And release. Right, stand up. Elephant breath. This is a crazy breath. It's great if you're feeling tense and stressed and uptight. It's a lovely way of loosening off. Your arms are like the elephant's trunk. So you take a deep breath in as you breathe up and arch back. And as you breathe out, you throw yourself forward, arms between, and an out breath through your mouth with a big ha. Are you ready? So breathing in and breathing out. Ha! And breathing in. Breathing out, ha. breathing in, draw yourself all the way up, arch the back, breathe out, let it all out, ha. and again, breathing in, and breathing out, ha. lovely, shake it all out. Right, we're well, going upside down is really good if you're feeling a bit lacklustre, haven't got enough energy. So we'll do some nice forward folds with a bit of stretch thrown in as well. So feet wide-ish apart, toes slightly pointed in. We're gonna bend from the hips with a straight back. So put your hands on your waist and bend forward. Then bring your hands between your legs. If they don't reach between your legs, if it's just your fingertips, that's fine. Put your hands between your legs and just breathe out and relax. Let your head hang down. Let your head just sway gently. Just let go of the neck tension. Just let the head dangle down. Now put your right hand between your feet, right in the middle, then lift your left hand up. You might need to look to see. It's like a wing. So you're pressing down with the hand in the ground, stretching up with the other one. And if you can look up, towards the arm that's stretched up in the ground, fingers spread, stretching up. And breathe. Then swap over, left hand down, raise the right arm, stretching up. And bring the arm down. Walk both hands towards your right foot. You may, if you get near your foot, that's fine. If you get hold of your foot, that's lovely. And if you can get hold of your foot, see if you can bring your nose towards your knee. So it's nose to knee. Walk your hands to the middle and walk your hands to the left. Same again. See how far you get. If you can get hold of your foot, draw your nose towards your knee. Bring yourself to the centre. Bend your right knee. Might need to look up for this one. Bend your right knee so you're on the toe of your right knee and the calf and the heel are resting on there. Now there's two ways of moving to the other side. You can use your hands and walk yourself over or you can bring your hands to prayer and lift yourself from side to side. But remember you can use your hands if you like and walk yourself from side to side. Get a nice stretch of the legs. And coming up onto your feet, and just a little balance. Balance is always good for focusing the mind. So this is called Dancer. So take your right hand and swing it behind you and lift up your right leg, bend at the knee, and you get a hold of the inside of the foot. And it's absolutely fine to hold on to something for balance. The inside of the foot, then you're lifting that foot up and you're bringing the other arm out, Woo. <laughs> and release, however long you can manage. That was my worst side I just did. So put your weight into your one leg. It's the out, inside of the foot's going to be held with the palm of the hand. Bend the knee, get hold of the foot, push that up, stretching up and stretching the arm forward. Dancer. Just see if you can hold it, or how long you can hold it for. And whenever you're ready, 
just come out. So that's a lovely stretch. And by 